when I was a kid in high school and I was being hated on or whatever. And this person is whatever, you know, but it's just like, I'm so glad I just kept going because it's just like, I, I really learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we here. We having fun. We vibing, man. Look, yes. You ready? I'm ready whenever you ready? are. All right, let's get let's, it. Let's let's roll. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Maycon Show, the greatest fucking show in the whole wide world. He's not today, wrong. <laughs> today, I'm with the great guest. Super creative, fucking outgoing, man. This guy, I've never seen him sad. I know uh, you go through shit, but I, man, your positivity fucking is thank contagious, you. man. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. I really am. It means a lot coming from you. Without further ado, JT Hiski. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot as shit today. In here. Dude, it is, dude. This is probably the hottest studio I've ever been fucking. in. I've done a lot of interviews, but this one Literally, is hot. Literally. Couldn't even give me the warning before I wore this long We're sleeve shirt. We were just talking shirt. about it, and I was like, yo, I am sorry. Sorry. And yeah. I have the windows open and shit. <laughs> Out of all the shirts I could have chose from my closet, I chose this one God. in the sweaty <laughs> studio of yours. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Maycon. But yeah, bro, but, I'm excited to have you, man. Dude, thank you. No, it means a lot. Like, I've been following you for years, you know, which is, it's That's rad. crazy, bro. Because I still remember when you dropped your, you used to make, like, homemade music videos all the time. <laughs> and you yeah. made one that had to do with, like, a bathtub or something, oh, like, four fuck. years ago. I used to join your uh, live streams on Instagram. One time, I was at the gym. I was like, it's cardio day. You're like, oh, well, if it's cardio cardio day, you should turn on my music and start working out. I was uh, like, okay, maybe I will. <laughs> that's was funny. Which was that's crazy. Funny. Yeah. So like when you made that reaction video to the knock me down freestyle, yeah. I didn't think which one it was. I was like, no way. Cause I already knew who you were. Yeah, and obviously with the three out Salt Lake and everything, yeah. it's just like, you know, I'm just honored, you know? I just love the way you went in it and you didn't give a fuck and you just had so much confident Dude, in it, bro. Uh, your reaction really meant a lot to me. All my friends loved it. Even my family watched it. My mom watched it and she was just so stoked about it. So yeah, <laughs> shout out to my mom, you know? <laughs> JT, where you from, bro? Salt Lake City, Utah. Mm. I was bouncing back and forth from here to Los Angeles a lot. And so I was like, okay, hey, I'm going to move here full time. A lot of my friends out there are living there. Yeah. Mod son still lives out there. Oh. So one of his people was one of my best friends in LA. And I was always really? living with him when I was out there. And so he left the Ukraine. After all he left, I was like, I don't know if I still want to come out here. So I stayed here for school. The University of Utah, I graduated in the bachelor's. Oh, shit, and so now dude. I'm in nursing school, which is rad. It's been a whole, like, whole different road for me. More that than is, I ever imagined. That's an adventure, say. bro. Thank you. Did you ever think you were going to go full-time nursing or was that out of nowhere? Out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, like it wasn't until like last November when I was in the hospital for an allergic reaction. So I like, I was at the mall and I was eating some food and all of a sudden I couldn't breathe and stuff. My like airways felt like they were closing in on me. I hurried to the hospital and like, well, that nurse helped me. His name was Ryan. Shout out to Ryan. Shout out to quick. Ryan. Yeah. Holy shit. At the University of Utah Hospital in South Jordan. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is kind of <laughs> cracking up. Yeah, I need another <laughs> sip. Sip of this lovely monster that has not yet sponsored me yet but it's all right soon to come, soon to come. i've given them so much free promotion they just they ignore my emails though so Fucking whatever monster, dude. <laughs> right? but um what was i saying oh the, the whole nursing thing the, yeah. yeah 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 so it wasn't until then i was like dang that's what i really want to do because i you know i try my hardest to get back to my community and i just always want to make a change you yeah. know um i help run this organization called ink against cancer i help volunteer for them and you mm. know we've been collecting so many items for our cancer warriors recently the weekend just signed some cds yeah. i got some stuff from tony hawk uh, I, st I stay in touch with tony every now and then ever since i met him and um, yeah. i try my hardest to give back i feel like nursing was the best profession to do that it just felt right you know I'm saying like it was that's one of those so moments good. where I was like that's what I want to do so I feel like I'm talking so fast oh, all no. the time I'm always on like a, a hundred times speed but like yeah. the more you grow up you realize what you want to do with your life True. you learn so much I'm still learning so much about myself every single day I'm sure you feel the same way you know and it's kind of the same with you branching out on the podcast world, oh yeah know? dude it's crazy this is the version that I've never seen of myself and that's just being me that's the best part about your show yeah. is like all the episodes I've watched, you're just being you. There's no rule book. There's, right? no, there's none, dude. And I feel like when you're an artist and music, there's a lot of inflation. You always do too much. Dude, tell me about it. And this is just like, yo, we're right here. Right. Whatever you see, yeah. that's what you get. <laughs> it's very true. And like, even when I work in radio, there's always people tell me what I can or can't do. I have to re be really careful yeah, what I say. Fuck. But <laughs> Radio is, is too cookie cutter. It has to be for everybody. But it is. they don't understand that right now, everybody, the kids swear, the babies swear. 
swear. Exactly. The fucking parents swear. Everybody swears. I know, and it's just like, yeah, you're, you're totally right. But yeah, so anyways, yeah. So I was going to start a podcast like you were, or yeah. you're doing. Yeah. You were. It's, <laughs> a, it's, it's a show. Right, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right, right. It's a show. It's like show. a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a mix. It's a mix of like, you know what I'm right. saying? It's a Frankenstein thing. Yeah, I might still do it. We'll see. You know? That'd be dope as fuck, bro. It just takes bro. a lot of time. How was JT as a kid, bro? As a kid? Yeah. Hyper. <laughs> I could Lots tell. Lots of injuries. <laughs> <laughs> Just hyper all the time, man. Like, I was a skater kid, too. Oh, of, shit. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do with my friends. I wanted to be a snowboarder originally. Like, I wanted to compete in the Olympics and everything. But I was oh, getting damn. injured way too much. Injuries are bullshit, bro. That was the dream as a kid. And then all of a sudden, music. I've been playing music since I was a little kid. So I was like, might as well do this. And it wasn't until, like, high school. I was putting out SoundCloud when SoundCloud very first Yeah, came that out. shit was crazy, Now bro. SoundCloud is, like, overpopulated. <sighs> I read somewhere there's over 125 million users right now on SoundCloud. Oh, that's fucking crazy because back then yeah. it was like you post one and you were the shit yeah. around. High school days oh, were just dude. incredible for us. <laughs> yeah, kid JT, he'd be very proud of adult JT. Yeah. I don't want to sound, I'm not narcissistic at all, but I don't want to sound like that. I feel like that's not narcissistic at all, bro. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to be proud of yourself. Kid JT wouldn't believe anything I, I was doing now, like even including like nursing school, you know. Yeah. I don't think kid JT had a path, you know. One of the coolest things that I like about you is that positivity. I've always been positive but there was always that madness inside me and I've right. never been able to show it until like maybe two years ago super fucking positive bro because I just know exactly what I want and I know I'm gonna get there it just takes patience right or I know that I'm already good I don't I don't need to be happy I'm already at peace yeah. what the fuck do I need happiness for I'm already right. good right but I'm not satisfied that, there's a difference you're I, unsatisfied but I'm at peace at the same yeah. time and that shit is dangerous when you know how to use it yeah. how do you do it how do you keep that mindset just, that positivity well I always think to myself like what can I do for the people around me whether it's my family my friends my supporters whoever it is like how can I uplift them you know and I always believed in like the vibes you put out or the vibes that come back to you, you mic know? drop bro fuck yeah, that's so like, fucking true a lot of you need to fucking learn about yeah, that like, man I really believe in the universe you bro, know me and, like, 100% I really owe the universe for a lot of my opportunities like how yes. to, through the, whether it was a music career or like even like the athlete skateboarder kid you know <laughs> like I really thank the universe you know it, I feel like if you're positive and you're a good human Man, good things happen Dude, for you. Dude, all the time. I still write thank you cards. I don't even do text messages. Like when someone wow. sends me a Christmas gift, I actually pull out all my thank you cards and write them a note. There's a something about that, you know? It's a difficult thing for kids and younger people to understand nowadays. It's easy for them to just post something or message somebody really oh, quick. Yeah. And they forget how reality works. It's reality crazy. connections are so much better than online. Sometimes, um, sometimes you can get it, but online you need to meet in person to really see if that's the cool person. Like dating, right? <laughs> yeah. So like you can be on a dating app and of course every guy is going to see a baddie who's not going to swipe every guy is going to swipe but like yeah. how do you know that girl just because you're attracted to her picture do you do you vibe with her oh yeah you know what i'm saying like until you actually go out with the girl people forget that these are just apps yeah bro heavily and, I, and it's hard because like i hate it when people compare themselves to me that's the one thing that really kind of just irritates me sometimes i yeah. get a lot of artists out here specifically in utah i do lots of like interviews and i've had a lot of cool moments with my life but i hate it when people compare themselves to me i'm just the same as everyone else. It's crazy that people really rely off these apps to feel a certain way, to feel validated. And um, I don't need these apps. <laughs> yeah, I had to remind myself, it's like everybody's situation is different. Yes. Especially with the music industry. You know, it's being around people. There's a lot of people, like, again, that have done way more than I have, maybe more than I ever will. And I can't compare my story to theirs, you, you know? And maybe he knew somebody who was a higher up at this record label and that helped him. Or maybe he just was at the right moment, the right time. Or, you know, I can't compare myself to that you've been through so much right and yeah. met so many people how do you distinguish real and fake nowadays uh, that's a hard question yeah. sometimes it's like impossible yeah that's so true some people know how to fake the energy and it's so yeah. weird because you're just like yeah that's Pah. a hard question to answer yeah. honestly because some people will be your friend until they get something like, there's this one guy who will remain nameless yeah. so we don't get a lawsuit on this show <laughs> but he was all like he kind of knew Afro man right this guy um, somehow knew him he didn't have his number or nothing yeah. He was just like, they met at a bar or something. I don't remember. Because I was with Afro Man. Yeah. And so he was through the lady who, whatever. And so um, then after that happened, you know, I thought we were friends for a little bit. We still have each other on social media. But he was asking me about well, how do I get connected and do more shows. And I was like, all right, fine. I'll help you out. Contact Fro. And then all of a sudden after that happened, he stopped talking to me. But that's all they ask. Yeah. yeah. They don't like, yo, how you doing? And that's when I was my last draw. My JT, you should have known better. <laughs> People like that don't make it far. They yeah, don't. That's what I tell myself. People who use each other don't ever make it far people who 
maybe diss each other or disrespectful. Yes, when make a dude. Bar. I learned pretty fast that I just don't expect anything from anybody. Yeah. I get to a point that I'm just like, I want to help. Cool, da, 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 da. I never think like, oh, they're going to give me back. There's been countless yeah. people that never gave anything back, but it didn't hit me because I didn't expect anything from them. But when they do something back, I'm like, oh, wow, that's yeah. cool. Five, six years ago, I stopped completely expecting anything for anybody and I yeah. just wanted to give. That's my problem is it's hard to stop sometimes because I'm so caring. I just got to realize not everyone's like that, you know? You shouldn't stop. Yeah. Like being a good person will always work. Well, yeah, yeah. Always be a good thing, bro. Just yeah. don't expect people to do it back. Just it's be. It's hard just sometimes. Be. Like I don't have no bad bone to pick, I guess. I don't right. care. Because I, I've known too that most people that do that to me, like you said, yeah. they don't get far. Oh. And I even help him out after, bro. Yeah, whatever you need. It's hard to find genuine people yeah. now. Yeah. I only have like a few close friends I talk to every single day. Only a few because... <clears throat> sorry. Sorry, <laughs> I gotta get water. I was like, I'm surprised oh, you haven't taken yeah, so a sip. Sorry. <laughs> water. Quench your thirst. Man, I need to drink more of it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's hard to find genuine people because everybody's out for themselves. Yeah, you know? It feels like that, you know? When you're not doing nursing, bro, when you're not doing music, yeah. where do you go? What do you do? Um, I like to go to the pool a lot. So Ooh. I have a pool up the street from my, my house I live in. in South oh, shit, Jordan. That's tough. It's relaxing. I like doing therapeutic stuff like that. The mm. gym is obviously one of my favorite places. And you're asking me so many great questions, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> um, I hope I'm answering them good enough. But like, it's like, yeah, I, I just like finding like quiet places, honestly. Like, I love the club scene. The club scene can be really cool. You know, I'm mixed with it. Mm. There's a lot of times I have good moments. There's times where people really just bug me at the clubs. And it's not even because they're doing anything to me. It's just being around these people. I'm feeling their vibes. I'm like, I can't be around this i just want to go home and chill i like reading books a lot reading books has been very therapeutic for me too if jt never made music what do you think you would be doing well first off if it wasn't for the music industry i wouldn't know anybody including you a lot of my amazing friends in la and um there's a bad side to it there's also that good side, good side yeah. that's the only side i really focus on the most you know i've met so many amazing people who have really done a lot for me amazing connections that i'll never forget i was gonna ask you like what would you think you'd be doing if it wasn't for soccer or music it, <laughs> say like podcasting wasn't invented yet the year yeah. is let's say 2004 the first spider-man movie is out <laughs> star wars movies are about to be finished Oof. you know you are like the same age then yeah what would you be doing i think i would mm. be an architect i love mm. creating I can see something. you doing that. I can see you building houses. We, I don't know why I could see that. Me and my family, we paint mansions. Okay. So if I didn't have all of this, I would have probably started yeah. as doing homes and like creating homes and everything. I like just, that. I just love that whole process, dude. I always wanted to be like the crocodile hunter. Oh. I want to rescue animals and educate people. I'd be like in like the water, like too. I yeah. think that's what I'd be doing. <laughs> like, you know, crocodiles and like, I think if it wasn't for music or um, anything else, you know, the skateboarding, I say that never existed. I think I'd be doing something like animal related. Yeah, I don't know what it is about animals. I like, love animals, bro. Exotic Fuck. animals. Like here's a snake, you know, here's this okay. like on the ground type, you know, moving a snake out of the road type stuff. You know? Yeah, that's dope as fuck, dude. I think that's what, <clears throat> oh my God, my, bro my throat keeps cutting out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But like, I think that's what I'd be doing, you know. Your show really is unique, and I really mean that, man. Like, Thank you, bro. I've seen a lot of podcasts. I've been in some, you know, and like, you just have that vibe. People can see it when you watch Thank it. Thank you, bro. Real shit. I really mean that. I don't have that many episodes compared to other people. I've been shocked in a way how people have taken them. They're excited about it, and I'm like, yeah. whoa, I'm barely starting. I'm excited. I don't even care who the guest is. Just hearing you interview people, it's really cool just having on in my house, whether I'm cooking or, <laughs> you know, like, or sometimes I leave it going on my TV on YouTube and like it's interesting it's just genuine conversations yeah. it's none of this oh let me pull out this paper okay it's not, dude i really your that. first name is blah 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 <laughs> what was it like being from spain okay <laughs> tell me about your new song like you know what i mean yeah. like that's one thing that i learned that it was like yeah. i don't want to hear about your accomplishments yeah i want to hear about you like yeah. who are you bro there's sometimes and i bet you have too that i was like how the fuck do i get out of this rut when am i gonna see the light fast forward to five years and i'm like wow i am so glad i kept going because yeah. I would have never met this fucking beautiful person that right. I am today. You yeah, know what I mean? and, and yeah, and you feel so proud of yourself. Yes, now. And they weren't like suicidal thoughts or nothing, but it was hard for when I was a kid in high school and I was being hated on or whatever. And this person is whatever, you know. But it's just like I'm so glad I just kept going because it's just like I I really learned a lot. But yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah. 
Where can people find you? Just look up JT Hiskey. How about that? <laughs> I don't even know. I you don't got like TikTok. I do, but I don't really use it anymore. Bro. I just felt like that app just wasn't for me. You know? I don't know. I just <laughs> we're getting I older, know. bro. We're getting right, older. <laughs> right, and that's the thing too. Is like I turned yeah. twenty five in a few weeks. I'm. I, at first, I was really scared to turn twenty five. Then I told bro, myself, "Don't be." That's I can't part wait. Of life. I can't <laughs> wait till I'm thirty, bro. Yeah. I was so excited, bro. I'm at that place where I'm like, I already did whatever I wanted to do when it comes right. to partying and. Fucking up. I already fucked up enough yeah. that I'm like, <laughs> I'm living, bro, in such of an aftermath yeah. that it's just peace. It's yeah. been amazing, man. I'm happy for you. I'm happy, happy that you. Happy for you, dude. <laughs> I feel like we could secretly be related. Yeah, probably, bro. <laughs> Sound like that. We're like the same people. Hell yeah, honestly. man. I love that shit. I love it. I'm telling yeah. you, it was funny because when I did that reaction, I never thought we were going to be sitting here and talking about life. Really? Never. I just did it and I was <laughs> like. I'm sorry, man. Because <laughs> like I said, man, I'm happy. I'm grateful that you're here. That, blessed. I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Bro, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. We're very yeah. blessed. I want to yes. see you win, bro. Yeah, I want to see you win, bro. Oh, you're you're you. already winning regardless, but I want to see you just make it to the top, you know? So that's the beautiful thing that we're winning by just doing what we like. But all right, my brother. <laughs> appreciate you. Um, <laughs> appreciate check out this you, guy bro. more. If you're one of my people watching this episode, watch all of his videos. Subscribe to him. Hey. <laughs> uh, he is uh, just an amazing human um, in Utah and everywhere else he goes follow him if you're one of my people that are coming from my posting whatever about this video watch and subscribe to him and if you're one of my people follow jt Hiski, bro he's a fucking the like most uh positive minded person you Thank got you. such a big heart Thank and you. you care about others and yourself uh -huh. i want to be around people who really care about themselves <laughs> and others you know what i'm saying thank you bro. i appreciate your kind words it means a lot coming from you and for you guys thank you for being here you could have been anywhere else in the world but you're right been. here the best me. place on earth <laughs> yes sir jt hiskey we're chilling we're vibing you know how it go whatever you do <laughs> please go to sleep early stay Straight, away from drama yeah. wear a condom all right be smart don't That's be stupid <laughs> Wear a fucking yeah. condom. <laughs> Wrap it up. Love you guys. Have a great Love night. You all. Peace out.